need to know how a Bunsen burner works for the fundamentals of chemistry. Specifically, you need to know the difference between the three flames on a Bunsen burner. You also need to know that you keep it on the safety flame when you're not using it. The apparatus of a Bunsen burner, which you may be asked to label, includes the outer cone and the inner cone, which make up the flame, the burner tube where the gas travels, the stopcock, which changes how gentle or how roaring the flame is, the collar and the gas pipe, where the source of gas transfers gas to the Bunsen burner. S typical safety precautions, which you should be able to know, are knowing to keep the safety flame on when you're not using it, uh, keeping it away from surfaces or flammable liquids, and not to leave the gas on when you're not using the Bunsen burner. The three types of flame you need to know are the safety flame, gentle flame, and the roaring flame. For the safety flame, the air hole is fully closed. Uh, this is used when you're not using it or if you're gently heating a chemical. For a gentle flame, the air hole is half open and this is used for more reactive metals which only need a little bit of heat to make the reaction occur. And for a roaring flame, the air hole is fully open and this is the most common flame used for experiments. Mm -hmm.